Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. What is up, YouTube? Today we are taking the fuel pump out, cleaning out the tank, cleaning the drains, and just doing a couple small projects on this car. Um, I apologize in advance for the video being a little bit over the place and whatever. This is actually filming the intro after I filmed everything. Um, I just want to get some stuff out for you guys and some updates. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to remove the battery tray and open up this fuel pump. Alright, sitting in the frunk. I hate that word. Um, this is the fuel pump uh, cover. Fuel, this is the top of the fuel tank. So, looks just like a Cayenne. Looks like we could squeeze this right here. Yep, wiggle that off. Um, Alright, these things should just be able to push and squeeze and squeeze. You always need to like push them in just a little bit. So push and squeeze, pop out. Ooh, there's no smell of vision right here, but I know the smell of bad gas. finger strength. I just donated blood the other day and um, my muscles are a little weak. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's not pretty. That is not pretty. All right. Now we'll blow this off with compressed air then knock the seal off. Okay, fuel pump is opened up. Just knock that loose. Now, as you can see, what I discovered was not only are all of these just like cracked and brittle. Um, yeah, the wires. Look at the wires. So this car, even with the immobilizer fix, <laughs> would not have ran. So I'm glad I opened this up. So now I know to just order it. And then owner, previous owner said there will tank, but there's not. There's some nasty, dirty fuel in there. So we gotta clean that out, drain it out, clean it out as best as I can. And uh, put some fresh gas in there with the fuel pump and uh, hopefully the whole car is not gonna be like that and hopefully it's gonna be a little bit easier and better once I replace this. I hope the motor is not blown. So you can see, last year inspection was 2015. Um, he said the car's only been sitting for seven months. I could do the math, but that's seven years that this car has not been registered. Unless there's something about Texas, I don't know, so. We will see. So far, everything is looking good. Look at that. Look at that flat six. But I'll keep you updated. This is my life. All right, so I got most of the fuel out of the fuel tank. There's still some in there, but 
You can see the mess in there. Sorry, this is kind of hard to film. Yeah, there's the float right there. Some, all of these little things look like sticks or insulation from the old wires. All this brown stuff is just sludge from the fuel. So, there's some more sludge right there. Yeah. So, we're getting it out. Um, there's about six and a half gallons in there. So, should be good. Just trying to get what I can done before the DME and immobilizer get here. I found an immobilizer and a DME from a wrecked car um, that was running when it was wrecked, so it should be good to go. And I found a local person that will cut me two keys for 300 bucks, but I do not know 100% yet if I'll be able to have the remote function work. Um, I think he's just gonna make regular key. There's another company that will cut me a key with the remote function for 350, but it's only one key, so. I might do the one key method and then who knows so yeah um, fuel pump should be here today's Tuesday fuel pump and all that stuff should be here Friday including the mobilizer Saturday hopefully I could have that program that might be an all-day thing and then maybe just maybe I'll hear this thing start but while I wait I have a couple projects I want to do. Um, I want to clean the drains out. There's three drains in the front of the car. There's one right there, completely clogged. There's one right there. And there's another one right here. And then there's two in the back behind the convertible tops underneath the, the clamshell. Um, I want to clean those. All the drains on this car are clogged. They got stuff in it. So do that. And then I gotta get underneath it and inspect because I'm pretty sure the vacuum hose for the brake booster underneath the car got damaged when I was putting it on the trailer. So I need to figure that out. Um, and it'll be good for me to just crawl under the car and look at it. Because honestly, I've only looked at where the shift linkage is to spray it with some PB blaster because it was so stiff. But yeah, so some more progress going on. Hopefully, soon in one of our next videos we will have a running and hopefully driving boxster i'd be really sad if you hear rod knock you could hear the ims clattering no clutch who knows all right tell you what that is a lot better and that is a job i dreaded doing I work for the government, so this is good enough for government work. Nothing brown came out of the fuel lines. All right, so I vacuumed out as much as I could in these drains. Now I'm gonna get this thing down in there. Just try to blow them out.
So now, what we will do, is we'll pour a little bit of water in there. And we'll make sure that they drain. Another source for water to get in here is the membranes inside the door, you know, like the little plastic film. Um, if those are torn, water will get down into your car. Now I'm gonna hold off on checking those because I wanna take these off because this window does not roll down. And that window rolls all the way down when you open the door or pop the top. But from what I know, or from what I've heard, I don't really know, the mobilizer controls the windows too. So I'm waiting to get the new one in and retest the windows. Also ordered an LCD for that because it was only 30 bucks. So running or not, we'll get a video of that. And uh, yeah, I got some other plans. Like I want to 3D print some covers for this and just a couple other little things on my neck. All right, so here's the line in question. Um, looks like I should just be able to pop that together, right? Am I right? Am I? No, of course not. It's always something. And these got uh, knocked off their mount. Put those back up. First look underneath the car. And um, yeah, not too shabby. I mean... I don't know if there's supposed to be a tray underneath the engine or not, but there's a tray in the back and a tray in the front still there. You'd expect it to be nice and clean. Car only has 80,000 miles. I don't see any crazy oil leaks right off the bat either. Stock exhaust. Everything's looking good so far. This is the line that goes to the, uh, I believe, the clutch master cylinder. <laughs> uh, shit. So if I push on the clutch, it feels good, and I could hear, I could hear it releasing in there. So I think that line, I unkinked it a little bit. I obviously I didn't straighten it too much because I was afraid I was gonna tear it brakes feel good um well actually it's like stiff as hell but anyways we'll have to see when i get it running also i got this thing loosened up it's like that's like to the moon the amount of throw this thing has oh my god i got the 944 online short shifter on my other car and, and it just makes a huge difference but yeah um oh let's see let's get a little bit further away this video is everywhere. I apologize. Uh, just a little updates. Not really any uh, DIY tutorials right now. Just trying to tackle as much as I can to get this car running because, yeah, I, you know, I want to see my investment work as intended. <laughs> so, that's what I got so far. And if you like this, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up icon. And stay tuned for more videos. I have more stuff planned.